In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create or add a new page in Webflow. It's super simple, just stick around to make sure you get it correct. So let's get right into it. The first thing you need to go ahead and do, make sure you're logged into Webflow. You should see the dashboard, it looks something like this. Go ahead and select on the page that you want to go ahead and add a new page to, or the website. So I'm going to click on this and click Open Designer. So wait for it to load, it may take a few seconds. And once you've done this, you need to go to the left hand side. On the left hand side you can see a little icon here that says pages, you can also press P on your keyboard. This is going to open up all the different pages you currently have on your website. Now what you'll notice is in the top right hand side there's going to be a button here that says create new page. Click on that. Now you can click create new page or click uh, create static page template. I would do create new page because you're trying to create a new page. And depending on your plan it may not allow you to do it. So you can see here, I have the maximum amount of uh, pages allowed on the plan. So if this is the case, you might have to go ahead into your other pages and delete them. But once you try and create a new page, it's gonna give you this pop-up here. This pop-up is gonna ask you for the page name, the parent folder, the slug. So the slug is the thing after the URL, like this. It's gonna ask you, um, if you want to make it your home page, it's going to ask you for access control so you can give it access to the public. You can give it a password or specific users. You can also do things like adding SEO. So you can do stuff like your title tag, your meta description, which will show up on the search engines uh, like this. You've got your sitemap indexing. You've got your graph settings uh, like this so you can settle those up. Uh, you've got all your other URL settings, and then you have some search settings as well. So um, a search description, this is an SEO driven description basically which will um, allow it to rank or whatever when you search for specific terms. Lastly, you've got your custom codes. So if you want to add stuff into the header or the footer, you can go ahead and do that, but you are going to have to have the custom uh, code hosting plan here to actually do that. Once you're ready, press save. It should open up the new page, and then you can go ahead and edit it and you're ready to go. So if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to go down below and like and subscribe. Comment down below that helped and I'll see you in the next one.